Welcome, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage in Southern California. Today we're holding uh, our monthly tech meet at Ronnie's Garage. <laughs> well, Ronnie would say, well, let's see. I, here's what I would do. If, okay, I could go through that process. Okay, I could go, I could, I could disconnect. I could, I, I wouldn't even try back probing. I would just disconnect it and see if I have continuity through that sensor. That's all I could really do physically without the proper information. If I have continuity through that, I can assume that the sensor's bad. If I don't have continuity through there, then I can say maybe it's loose or maybe it's bad, right? The true test on the continuity, though, is to have both ends of the wire where it plugs in and to the computer. That's another. Check those two wires, make sure they're good, but as a, a professional, I can say, well, I can charge you $3,000 to take it apart and check that wire. Or I could put the new sensor in there while I do that. And I've covered the bases. Not a shotgun thing, but it's just a practicality thing. Because it's, it's, not, it's not accessible. You have to pull the intake completely off. You have to pull the intercooler off. It's, it's a lot of work. And the way I do these, since the age of the car, it probably got the O-rings when I had the heads off of this, because I did head gaskets on this when I bought it. This used to be my car. Uh, so th when I'm in there, and with the knowledge of the way the, these cars act when they get old, I'd say, let's do the injector O-rings, let's do the fuel hoses, let's do that sensor. They all tend to leak. So that essentially is a shotgun approach. Let's just fix that shit. But also, if, if I did, I, I couldn't even pinpoint one O-ring if it was leaking. But if I just did the pressure sensor, put it all together, start stumping fuel, who's on the hook for the labor now? I don't like to operate that. I've been burned so many times. Uh, aren't you, you're, you're getting into the head guy in Texas as far as your online stuff? The videos? Yeah. People don't want to pay for information. Because this is, you know... And that's you out there, that. YouTube. You guys. Yeah, it's, it's this kind of information. If you want me to answer your question personally, you better cough up 25 measly dollars. If not, don't bother me. And don't edit that. Leave that in. Put that in. Because yeah, there's also communities out there... Uh, Pico scope. Uh, it's a very good lab scope to use. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got a community, you know, where people could go through and diag this. Hey, we got a known good that's posted online. But now uh, it's you know, your situation. You know, you're trying to you know, get people to pay in and you know, to get it. But as you can see, if you're looking at you know three thousand plus dollars, an extra twenty-five at the beginning, that could maybe save you, maybe not. They could tell you exactly what you you thought, but at least you know you're changing it because it needs changing, not because you get in there and you find out, oh, there's a bad connection up over here, a bad ground at the engine block, it corroded. Right. You know, That's a common problem, though, you're talking about, right? Common areas to look. Well, if, you know, if every time you come across a problem, it gets posted, and all of a sudden this site becomes that much more valuable for you know me, a user, that is, I got a car coming in, and rather than spending... You know, hours I can go on this and see what's the most common, you know, problem that's going to occur and you know, cause the problem. The highest probability. Highest probability, and I can check that first. That doesn't mean I'm going to do it, but at least I can go down and go, wow, look at how corroded this ground is underneath. You know, yeah. and you find you got a broken wire there, and I just save myself, you know, untold hours of pulling the manifold. Is that a pay service you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Yes, just like you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. You, know, you just got to, you know, <coughs> get the people out there that need it to know it's there uh, you know, so they can have, you know, 25 bucks, it's a bargain. That <laughs> cracks me up. Okay, where are we? We wanted to find a freeze frame. Some dollar notations, $10? I don't know. I don't know what all those <coughs> signs mean. It's number 10 is the one we got to look at. There's the code. Display fault text. And it just says pressure sensor A circuit. So 
To me, that doesn't really is not definitive. It could be the sensor. I can go in there and I would put the sensor and I would check the wiring, make sure that's good and that's the best I could do, or corrosion. But I'll tell you what, I would not tear this all apart and if I found some corrosion on the connector, not replace the sensor because it took so long to get in there. Right. Sure, right. You, know, you got to dive in. You right. Do everything you possibly can. Yeah. Right. You do the, the, it's a process of elimination diagnosis, and you start with the simplest stuff first. That's a known problem. I just want to clear the codes. There we go. We're going to erase the DTC. Oh, it won't let me until I read them all. Uh, a lot of times, key on engine off is when you can clear. You may not be able to clear when the engine off. It says, well, this is a software thing. It's designed. Okay. Okay, I got it. It should be able to clear it while it's running. I've never had a problem erasing them before. And results have been erased. It's on that center post. If you want Crown Valley, and that Crown Valley. No, when you're going up Camino del Avion from Del Obispo. So, what we've got now, let's check the codes again because the light's staying on. So it's a hard fault, which is what the freeze frame showed. Well, sometimes it'll happen. It won't just restart. This thing, after you let go of the key, it'll keep cranking until it starts. Come on now. Okay, let's go to Bentley. Let's try this. Red label. EMS. Enter. Fault codes. Read faults. Same. I only got the one now. It cleared the other three. So let's try to clear it, see if it clears. All faults cleared, lights out. So it wouldn't do it under the EOBD2. It did under the Bentley function. So, all right, guys. That was exhausting.